And what do you think from a player's point of view? Do you think players want to see their coach ranting and raving about decisions go against them, or is that a is that an old school approach? It's emotional, isn't it? So when the decision goes against you, your instant reaction is to be angry and to be annoyed. But when you look back on it, you're, not, you're never going to change the mind of a referee. Once they've made that decision, once the VAR has gone through, whatever, they're not going to change their mind. So for me, when I heard Thiago Silva speaking about Potter and he was saying, like, is he as good as the previous coaches you've had? And he's gone, it's too early for that, but he's a really, really good man. And I think the players respect the manager because of the way he behaves. He's not someone who's going to rant and rave at them all the time and, and criticise them and criticise referees and blame other people. He's just going to coach the way he's always done it. And so far, he's been really successful. You don't think he's, he's too nice then? I mean, that's the, that's the bottom line of all this is some of the pundits, the ex-Chelsea players saying, like, He's too nice. He's, he's he's not enough of a you know of the kind of Mourinho's Conte style, you know, yeah. difficult kind of I mean, aggro character. What both, do you think? Is, both is of them were gone really quickly from Chelsea, and maybe the new the, the new owners have come in and said, look, we want a different style. We want the manager. They've gone and headhunted him from Brighton, spent a lot of money in bringing him in, bought a lot of players for him. They must like him as a person and his sort of demeanour around the place and how he he is a figure point for for Chelsea. You look at Pep Guardiola the other day. He's completely different. How he reacted when he came out fighting against Man City, and that works for them. But for that Chelsea, wasn't on the sideline, that, that, that were people were complaining about him about his behaviour on the sideline was too nice. I mean, look, when I was a manager, when I was a young manager, I was mad and I vented anger on the sideline and annoyance and frustrations. Referee, I like to think as I matured a bit, and I used to be a bit unnerved by other guys, the other manager, who wasn't a bit mad and he wasn't throwing the head. They're saying, is he seeing more? And yeah. I had to change a bit as a manager and try and be but the more point, controlled. the point, Brian, that, that was made is no, that he, the can, biggest he can point, dictate, Tom. he can change the narrative of a, of a bad result by kicking up about a decision so that people are talking about that rather than the bad performance. Well, that, that can be clever as well, too, but too clever by half. I think a lot of people read through that and see through that. I think the other point he made, which wasn't shown there, was that when you were at the top level of the game, at a decent level, and you have a profile like you have, you have a responsibility to the game to behave properly as an example to other people in the game. And that is not mentioned often enough. That He yeah. also mentioned the fact that all levels of the game, there's trouble trying to get referees and officials to do the job because of the abuse they see on the touchline at all levels of the game, right down to schoolboy football. People follow what they see at the higher levels. Kids dive if they see players getting away with diving right through the game. They foul if they think they can get away with it or they think it's OK and nobody says anything. So I think he made a very strong point and I don't think it made any difference that he wasn't angry. The referee and the VAR man should have done their job. Suchek yeah, handled okay. it, dive to save it and that was it. It's nothing about where the manager was angry. I'm sure in his head he's gone, what a two, pair, two yeah. gob shites. But it doesn't make any difference to, the, to, to how he's performing as the manager. He's doing the job as a man. He, he's got loads of other problems than whether he's lashing the referee that's and it. the VAR man. Nice guys don't always finish last, right? That's what, that's I'm what sure you're saying. They don't. <laughs>